morning everyone it's me yana welcome or welcome back to my channel today i decided to finally vlog i was gonna vlog yesterday it did not happen i was going to bring you guys along with me on my morning and i just used my phone to film a few clips but i brought my camera and realized the battery wasn't in my camera because i left it to charge overnight so here we are but today's thursday I have a lot of things to get done today. I got Starbucks because I got a gift card for my birthday. So I got the uh, brown sugar shaken espresso, which I never get because it's so expensive. And I got the cold foam on top and it's divine. My dog is crying because my mom just left the house and he's very clingy. But I went on such a nice long walk this morning, got a good sweat in. It was just so nice the weather was perfect and then i came home made some oatmeal i'm watching this is us which i just started or i started a few days ago it's really good but i'm about to go hop in the shower i need to shave my legs and i just really need to shower and i kind of have a lot to do today so at noon i have a work call and then after that i have to go pick up my sister and my cousin and drop my cousin off then me and my sister are going to have price books and then after that i'm going grocery shopping to aldi and then after that i'm gonna hang out with my other sister and we're probably gonna go for a walk because the weather's just beautiful today and then after that i need to get my dad a father's day gift so i might go to the dollar store and to target we shall see what i end up doing but i thought i would bring you guys along with me a lot of just errands and random stuff i also got gas this morning but yeah i have a lot to get done today but it's not anything like it's like fun stuff just running errands so i figured i'd bring you all along with me and just chit chat with you i miss talking to you guys i'm really struggling finding a routine with filming videos because i don't know i just feel like my vlogs are boring i feel like i do the same thing but like i really love my routine so i don't know comment down below if you like my vlogs if you want me to do specific videos i still need to do a car tour which is on my list to film probably this weekend I was gonna film it yesterday but it was pouring all day and the lighting was just not good so yeah but i have been posting a little bit on tiktok so definitely follow me on tiktok if you want to like stay up to date and you can follow me on my instagram and all that always linked below but yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower now because i just i just need to like get moving <laughs> It just got really cloudy all of a sudden, but I'm all showered and changed. As you can see, hair is still pretty wet. Um, I'm getting ready to hop on a work call here in a little bit. I don't think it'll take very long, maybe 15 minutes to 30. Probably won't take 30 minutes, but yes. And then I'm going to go pick up my sisters and... Right now, I've just been updating my planner, getting things organized because, oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. Tomorrow, I have a doctor's appointment and I have to get my blood drawn and it gives me such anxiety. Like, I hate getting my blood drawn. I know I'm not alone in it. A lot of people don't. I don't think anybody likes it. That would be weird, but... I just like don't like it I get so anxious I don't know why like I just and it's not even the needle or the blood it's just I'm terrified that I'm gonna pass out even though I've never passed out like, I'm just like so I don't know I just like I'm very aware of like what's going on in my body so it just I get worked up about it but it's fine so We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Uh, yes. Um, but it's important to go to the doctor. It's important to get everything checked. 
um so i'm just telling myself that that they're like yeah it sucks but it's better to go and do preventative care than have something that's you know not good so yeah i'm not excited about that but it's gonna be okay literally the past few weeks i've been since i've been done with school i've been catching up with all my appointments i had like a dentist appointment an orthodontist appointment because my retainer broke so i had to get it fixed then i had an eye doctor's appointment and this is the last appointment on the list except i have to get my pap smear but i'm not due for that until the fall so i'm just gonna wait for the fall because i getting blood drawn and a pap smear two in one day just no no thank you um <laughs> yeah so i'm glad that i'm you know almost done with all of my appointments it's one of those things i just hate going to any type of like medical appointments but when I get there, it's fine. It's just like before I'm like dreading it. I don't know. But yeah. So comment down below if you really hate doctor's appointments. This drink is so good. It's it's dangerous that I got it because it's a $7 drink, but I had a gift card plus I had some stars. So I used so it ended up being like $6. But if I didn't have a gift card, I would never get this because I am not paying that much for a drink <laughs> that's too much but yeah i also made a grocery list um i just need a few things and i kind of planned out um meals so i need chicken chicken sausage gotta get my diet coke i need like turkey for wraps and sandwiches and then i need um some wraps for that avocado corn mashed potatoes gravy mix honey mustard salad kit and um that's basically that's basically it don't really need a ton but just like like I have vegetables, I have fruit, still I have potatoes, I have um, breakfast stuff, like eggs, all that stuff. I just um, need to get like some protein and stuff for sandwiches and wraps because that's what I have for lunches. But anyway, I'm going to prepare for my call. Hopefully it goes by quick so I can be on my way. everyone so i just got back from aldi um i was just out and about my sister and i went on another walk and ran some errands and stopped by aldi was so crazy packed in there and i forgot my camera again but i just wanted to show you a grocery haul of what i got and all of it was 34 dollars, which is super cheap especially with you know prices skyrocketing right now but i thought i would show you and give you some ideas on you know kind of what i buy i got this pack of diet coke it's four dollars at aldi everywhere else it's like six um i also got some frozen corn i got these nugget bites to try i'm not even gluten free but i don't know they looked really good and then I got some wraps for lunches, some turkey for lunches, and this is like a lot, so, and it was like $3, so I'm hoping it'll last. I got some coleslaw. I made this like Asian-inspired salad with this, and it was really good, so I want to recreate it. Got some honey mustard, got some sliced cheese for sandwiches, wraps things like that i got some chicken sausage this is really good i have frozen veggies that i can make with this and with some rice or potatoes and i already had like rice and um i have food and like breakfast stuff and then i got these two drinks these are so good and they're really cheap so love that and then i just got an avocado some gravy and some mashed potatoes so i can make like kfc bowls you know but yeah so for meals i'll probably do um i have frozen wontons so i would make that with rice or like a stir fry and then have the salad with it 
or I would do like sausages with vegetables and rice or even for breakfast these are good and then sandwiches and wraps and the chicken bowl so I can make a good amount of meals out of this so yes yeah, so that is all that I got now I'm just gonna change into some comfy clothes I am so tired and then I'll catch you guys up a little bit on my day and yeah I'll talk to you guys soon hey y'all I am back from all the errands that I ran and I'm so tired I went on a walk a second walk all oh, my batteries low. I went on a second walk and then we ran some errands went grocery shopping all of that and my other sister went to half price books just to look at books and then we got McDonald's after because that's what you do so I had that for lunch and now it's like seven it's 7 30 now so i made myself a little snack plate it has carrots cheese and pistachios which are so yummy and they have these things they're like tomato and oregano little pita bites i don't know they taste really good so i have those as well so i'm going to just snack and watch the new kardashians episode because it's thursday so it's on hulu so i'm really excited doing two walks today like long walks really killed me my legs hurt but i feel really good plus the weather was beautiful today so i'm just going to relax i changed into comfy clothes and i'm ready to just relax <laughs> okay i finished the kardashian episode and now i'm about to Oh my gosh, hop in to bed. I am just ready to just chill. I might read a little bit. Actually, where's my book? I think I told you guys, Reading the Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. It's pretty good, like a good summer read so far. But, oh my gosh, the AC is cold. But I just wanted to, um, where did I put you guys? This is so gonna, this is not a good idea. Okay, this might backfire and you can only see the top of my head, but this is fine for now. Um, like, just little updates like life has been so good lately and i'm so blessed and thankful i joined a small group at and started going to a new church and it's been so great so far um my relationship with my boyfriend has been great and um like spending time with my family and lately i've just had this huge feeling of immense gratitude for life and for everything and the world does really suck right now and it can be scary but just knowing that despite everything they're still good and trying to seek out that good which can be hard but I've also been struggling with body image a lot the past I would say past a year really the past six months um, yeah, during COVID, obviously, and switching jobs from, like, being in an active, like, hospital position to more, like, sedentary, is that what it's called? S sedentary jobs. Um, and just going on birth control and then going off of birth control and you know all the things that sap getting sick and then just all these yeah everything life basically and i've just like noticed changes in my body and i have gained weight and i it, it's hard some days are better than others like i'm so thankful i found like the whole instagram and tiktok community of like body neutrality and body positivity and more creators like posting their body and not being afraid to show like the unedited versions of okay, 
my memory card got full. What was I saying? Finding like the TikTok and Instagram community and just people being more open about body image and how we're, you know, like, I don't know, just all of that has been really helpful and unfollowing a bunch of like doing a social media cleanse and unfollowing a bunch of people that just promoted diet culture or you know things like that and just really um i don't know just really trying and also going to therapy um I, you guys know i've been going to therapy for a few years now and i see my therapist currently like once a month and it's been really great and working through that as well but it's just hard sometimes like I have days where I feel confident and I feel good and then there are other days where I just don't like how I look I don't like my body um, wishing I looked a certain way but I just try and remind myself that I think about like I look back on my life like when I've been the most like I don't even want it like skinny or like the most like the smallest I really wasn't happy like I was really insecure and I even look back on old old pictures or old old vlogs and I remember certain pictures thinking that I looked huge but I was so tiny and that's just like body dysmorphia and like growing up as a kid like I was pretty small and then I reached like fourth probably fifth fourth or fifth grade and I fifth sixth grade I don't know I had like thin arms and legs but I had a belly like a big belly and I always carry my weight in my stomach it's just how it's been um but I remember like, or my face too, like being called chubby, booty chin, double chin, like, you know, you know, kids are mean, but, and it's just like, I don't know, when you've carried that with you so long, it's really hard to like, let it go and to heal from it, um, but I've just been doing my best and trying to love my body or at least accept it and have grace with it and myself so if any of you are struggling with um low self-esteem or body image issues um feel free to reach out to me and we can you know chat and support each other together and show each other love because it is hard and it just goes to show it doesn't matter what size you are like even if you got your dream body or your dream size or whatever, you still could not be happy. You could still be insecure. You could still be, you know, sad. And like this morning I went on a walk and like listened to music. And I just on the walk, I was thinking like how great my life is, how happy and blessed I am. And just thinking of like the nature that I'm in and the ability to walk and move my body and it's just been so incredible and it's just so crazy to me because I know that I'm healthy like I'm the most active that I've been in a while I restrict the least like I don't restrict anymore or at least try not to and I try to have balance in my life, but at the same time, I'm also like the biggest I've ever been. But I'm also really healthy, and I know that in the past times where I wasn't doing, you know, the things I was restricting, whether it was intentionally or even just not really thinking about it, but things I picked up, like I remember getting the my fitness pal app like in middle school or early high school i remember at 10 years old like just feeling so horrible about my body and i was 10 years old you know like i hated how i looked as a kid like 
it would it just yeah it just sucks and I would like compare myself to my siblings who are like eight years younger than me or to people you see on social media which a lot of that stuff isn't even real but yeah it just it's a struggle sometimes but I'm working through it trying to move through it and if you guys have any suggestions for like videos related to that or content around that I would love to know but anyways thank you for watching this <laughs> vlog it was kind of random I'm glad that it's summer so I don't really have like grad school content since I'm not in classes but I will be doing more of that the months will fly by but if you have any ideas of videos you want me to do definitely comment below and on that note I am gonna go and read and get some sleep but I will talk to you guys in another video bye guys